morning guys it is friday morning christopher gone to work i have been up for mm, somewhat around two and a half three hours uh like usual i got up got my coffee sat down stitched and watched youtube because that is kind of a calm way for me to start the day um i had a really 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 rough day yesterday and I'm feeling a lot better today, but we'll see how long that will last. But I do feel a lot better, so that's a good thing. I'm uh, stitching on my kind of own design thingy. I want you to, sh I want to show it to you when it's finished, and then I'm gonna go through and kind of talk you through uh, what I've learned from this process. Um, I feel that I did learn a lot and I like how it's coming out. I have about 500 stitches left so uh, hopefully by the end of day it will be finished. However it is a lot of confetti um, and the confetti is actually kind of building up the design so without the confetti it would be much much flatter and it would not have the texture and the the kind of liveness that it has um so yeah i like it i'm liking it though um i'm gonna get my breakfast because i don't eat breakfast until a couple of hours into the day because i usually get nauseous if i eat too early uh, my tummy is hurting a bit and i think it is because i had things i'm not supposed to eat yesterday um i had thai and I had fried rice, uh, kind of fried rice Thai. Um, and fried rice contains eggs, and I'm allergic to eggs. Uh, kind of the or, I'm insen uh, I'm uh, sensitive to eggs. I would probably say, if I would have been allergic to egg, I probably got rashes or hard breathing or something like that. But I get tummy issues. Um, and lately I've been trying food because I'm figuring figuring out new things. However, I woke this morning with a very painful tummy. Um, so eggs is nothing I'm supposed to eat. And this, this is something I go through like once every six months or something. I try all the things again to see if my body has gotten healthy enough to actually cope with them. Um, and then I'm figuring out that no that's not the case and it might never be but um like egg always was such a big kind of piece of my food so I always try to to eat it again but I'm gonna have some yogurt and then I'm gonna see if I can get my day ready so good morning guys I hope you have an awesome day so I got a question from uh Alice wondering if uh, isn't there a kind of glasses you could use to help you sit in from the computer more and uh, there's a short answer and there's a long answer the short answer is no sadly not uh, because um, it has to do a lot of it when it comes to the computer and screen time a lot of it actually has to do with my eyes uh, that I get tired because I'm tired I start having uh, movement in my eyes they start going in different directions and I have th have had this issues for multiple years and that when I get tired I start getting issues focusing um, my focus range moves around and sadly there's no glasses that can do that because there's no uh, variable focus lengths for glasses I would need to have 10 15 different ones and switch be between them and not knowing which one and, yeah it, it, it's problematic. So that's the short answer. The long answer is uh, a lot of the pain I get is due to use of the brain. This sounds very strange, but it's like I'm overworking it. Um, it's very obvious when I'm trying to do things like um, crossword puzzles or when Christopher is gaming and he wants my input, how should I do this? Um, or, or just solving problems. Problem solving is, it intensifies the migraines really, really, really much. So, um, yeah, uh, sadly, um, sadly, there's no glasses to help it. And 
I really need to get get away from the migraine. Um, and also, this is something I have noticed throughout all these years going to the doctors. Uh, instead of figuring out why all of these things are happening to me, because I now have a very intense list of diagnoses and issues. And I would say that there is an underlying problem behind all of these, but no one wants to figure out the problem. Instead, they find kind of a solution for the symptoms. Uh, and they continue just hiding the symptoms with new solutions. And I'm freaking tired of it. Really, really tired of it. So I just want them to figure out all the underlying reasons and stop just putting... Just, just helping the system. Symptoms doesn't help me. Especially not when most of the medications do have so many side effects. So you you're trying to fix something with trying to fix a symptoms and you create a whole bunch more this is why i slowly went off basically most of my medications last year and i'm now down to cortisone and um blood thinners the blood thinners is something i never will be able to go off because i do have a um, issue with the production of my blood cells so they coagulate a little bit easier than others uh, so I need the blood thinners um, whatever diet or anything I, I do I need the blood thinners um, the cortisone I'm hoping to be able to get off in the future right now I can't because I have some kind of virus infection in my body and I've had it for a long time I think it is an HPV virus because I know I had that for seven years but not sure so we have to kind of figure that out but otherwise I actually don't really have any other medications and um, now I'm having to go on new medications due to the prolactinoma and everything kind of I don't want a lot of pills because with pills come side effects and side effects are sometimes worse so we'll see how how things will work but yeah so that that's the the answer to the question basically yeah the video i tried to edit yesterday that just was this huge big fail well it took me like 10 minutes to edit this morning so yeah it's it's so much different Everything is, uh, w when you do stuff, sometimes it's very hard, sometimes it's very easy. Today it was more like, okay, I'm much better at just, yeah, I'm gonna not include this, I'm not gonna include this. And basically, uh, if I would have taken, because it was the episode two, so the day before yesterday's vlog, uh, that I was supposed to edit yesterday that I just didn't have energy to do yesterday. Um, it has l had like a hundred, like one and a half hour footage or something like that. I talk to you a lot, uh, but not everything. I can't add everything to talk to in every vlog. And also I have a tendency to repeat myself. And so I have to kind of uh, just add the footage that makes sense, makes sense. But I do try to show a uh, um, mixture of emotions and a mixtures of energy levels because I want this to be um, so real as I can do it so I'm really trying not to just remove everything that is bad which is my first kind of um, response to everything it's like yep yeah, nope you're not gonna see this I had a bad day you're not gonna see this but I'm, I'm trying to bit by bit uh just show you how how my days are my my real days so yeah yeah but the video is edited and it is uh uploaded and it is processing so the videos also this was one thing i was thinking about uh, i was talking about processing and then i said well the video is processing and i did that at two different times uh, the way it is, uh, I edit the video and then the editing software I need to process the video if I do any kind of color corrections, stuff like that. 
Uh, and when that is processing, you export the video so you have a video that you can upload. Then you upload it to YouTube and when it is uploaded to YouTube, YouTube will process it so that anyone who wants to see it in a lower uh, video ratio can do that. So that is kind of the, the state, how you do things or how... The, so yes, uh, technically it processes it twice. And now the sun came back. It is th that kind of weather when the clouds are going by the sun all the time. So if it's dark one minute and very light one under, uh, that is why it is. But I'm trying to uh, reduce my vlogging with the cameras because the day before yesterday's footage was, I was, wasn't able to do any color corrections on it because I had the screen on half of my face, which is a very blue light. And then I had the over top light on the other side of my face, which was a very yellow light. So I get this streak of two different colors and then you can't color correct it unless you actually go in and kind of color correct half of it, one color and half of it, the others. That's very complex. That's nothing I'm going to do because I can't sit in from the computer that long. So I opted out from any kind of color correcting yesterday, um, before the day before yesterday's vlog. And we'll see uh, if yesterday's vlog is better. We'll see if I can have the energy to do that today. Uh, I don't think I did have that many clips yesterday because Christopher was, was home a bigger part of the day and I can't vlog when he's home. Or I can, but I have a tendency to not do it. Um, I'm gonna get better at that, I promise you. But yeah. I got the second video edited. Um, I did a little, little update to the end slate. Um, basically, the end slate is a very simple thing to do. If you are a video creator, a video editor, however you do things, even though this is more of a blog for me and I uh, kind of just talking to you, uh, I did want to have an end slate at the end of the video, kind of, if you missed the last video, you can click on that one. Uh, if you never have subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button there and stuff like that. But uh, I think that I kind of remembered that I wanted to have on the end slate was my new Instagram. So um, I've been using uh, Craftable Creations for a very long time, It's but I wanted to kind of just have card making there. I have a craft a, craft a bit illustrate which is where I put all my kind of paintings and sketches and stuff and sorry for the washing machine but it's gone two days we had a lot of dishes so I needed to fix that and I did. Um, but uh, I have a sort of new one I've had it for a month or two now that is uh, Marika.givalli uh, which is my full name and that is where I put everything else that that is kind of the Instagram that comes with this kind of logging style sometimes I go out and do something so I add it to that um, so when I take like photos of houses and stuff uh, of the kitties of my cross stitch they will all be condensed there. I still haven't separated cross stitch from the rest of me because I have periods in time when I don't do cross stitch and I don't want it to be all empty. And also I I can't have that many. I have four now. I have one for dye works also, which is my store, if you didn't know. I have my Etsy store. Uh, I do uh, custom dyes and stuff like that. Right now, I sadly had to pause all of the custom dyes because I can't really dye any fabrics. 
um, but I do have some pre pre colored um, fabrics or that I have dyed so it's hand dyed fabrics and I do have needles and I do have some handmade cross stitched needle minders and if you are a knitter I also have some knitting and crochet markers so it, a little bit of those things I have in my Etsy store which is called Crafty Bit Dye Works all of these links are in the description down below uh, but anyhow I wanted to have my new Instagram on my end slate so at least if you want to see more of my kind of antics during a day you will find them there so yeah, that is what I wanted to say to you. Uh, I'm waiting for the second video to be done processing for the co color corrections and um, then I'm going to uh, push that uh, export button and let all those things happen. But I did one video today and I did a second one and I feel really proud of myself. They were very quick edits, okay? Because I didn't really vlog that much yesterday. But anyhow, also play with with Leia in the middle. Can you see? Can you see the tail? Can you see the tail? Gizmo loves boxes and this box is something I, he really loves but his little tail is he's wagging all along there. It's just adorable. He is adorable. Real life things is happening right now. I don't have any power. The whole house just lost it. Like, I do have my iPad and I do have all my mobile phones that are working, but there's no power in the apartment. This never happens. So I'm gonna go out and see if there's power in the uh, house or if it's just my apartment that is, is affected. I went and checked the fuse box and none of the fuses have been, um, have gone. So I think it's the house. I think it's the house. Ah, so yeah, it's the house. We don't have any power at all. Uh, and I don't know how what to do to get the power back because it's a house. It's the whole house. It's the whole apartment complex. So, well, we'll see what will happen if it will come back soon or if I just won't have any power for a while. How am I supposed to make coffee? I talked to Kay. He hasn't heard anything. But when looking out, it seems like our neighbor houses also don't have any power. So um, as we do have a lot of construction going on, we have a company called PM that is doing construction just outside our apartment. Uh, there is NCC, which I talked about yesterday. Uh, they are doing constructions um, further down. Uh, and then there is a third company that is doing construction uh, two blocks uh, towards the um, subway or the commuter trains. Uh, so there's a lot of construction going on, so they might just have cut off a line somewhere. Uh, the only thing is that we do have some equipment uh, that kind of needs power continuously. Uh, so we'll see how they will feel uh, when they turn back on but yeah no coffee no tea and also I have a very strong light when I do stitching because I think this kind of light not, don't only work well, doesn't always work for me so I don't know what to do I might sit down and do stitching and wait for the power to come on but yeah no power it's strange. I need to put a shirt on though because I'm, I'm a little bit chilly and now we don't get any heat in, inside. So yeah. Hmm. The power is back on and I can make myself a cup of coffee, which I will be making. Um, I didn't get very distressed from it. The only thing I really felt was that I do really, really rely on my uh, over-the-shoulder light when I'm stitching. So that was, um, I did get some stitching done. I did some window, uh, some um, YouTubing on my phone. Um, I have two phones, one from work and one, one that is my private one. So I can burn out the battery on one of them without having to worry. So, uh, yeah, so I've been YouTubing on that. I usually YouTube on that and then I put it into a charger when it runs out of battery. Um, but yeah, so everything is kind of starting up again. Our freezer was screaming and I think it was because uh, the temperature must have dropped in it uh, or risen. It's a freezer. 
it has risen in it. So I put on the freezer part. We got hail coming down outside. Um, something kind of a mixture between rain and hail. It sounded a lot because it was hitting the metal pieces on, on the outside of the windows. The window sails um, on the outside uh, was really, really loud. Uh, but and the temperature sank super quickly. It's been around eight and nine degrees here all day. And like maybe 10 minutes ago, I opened the balcony door for Gizmo so he could go out. And now it is five degrees, like went from nine to five degrees in 10 minutes. So yeah, it's really cold. I'm gonna close the door. And I think I'm gonna do some coloring because I really want to do some coloring. And also, even though the power is back, we're having some issues with our hardware. So I don't have any internet. So I can't upload the daily video yet. So I'm hoping that either Christopher will fix this um, remotely Sometimes he can do that, uh, and if he can't fix it remotely, I have to wait a couple of hours until I get internet back. I do have internet on my mobile phone, so I can watch YouTube uh, while I'm doing kind of videos or coloring or whatever I want to do today. I think it's just coloring, um, but um, I don't have internet to upload stuff. Hmm. I did do some stitching. Uh, I probably won't finish this stitch portion today. Um, I finding myself being very easily distracted by the mobile phone or stuff like that. So I think I'm going to stitch more uh, towards the evening when Christopher is home and we'll be watching TV and, and just chat and stitch and stuff like that. Also, I need to clean everywhere and I'm not in the mood. Or more, I know that I see that I need to clean everywhere, so I know that I'm feeling better today than I did yesterday. And it's not like, oh, I'm not going to do that. It's more, um, I'm actually not in the mood. <laughs> but hopefully, um, I will be able to kind of just clean and throw things out and we will have a much more organized home within a couple of months, so yeah. Is wondering why it's sounding so much outside so she's just sitting there watching the balcony yeah I don't know if she wants to go out so I think I need to keep the door open sadly so I thought I wrap up the day it's actually really really late oh it's past 10 hmm <laughs> it's almost 11 um we had a friend that came over and uh, sat with us for quite some hours. It was really really nice. We sat chatting and and I sat stitching and had a nice evening uh, I did a bunch of coloring today, which was a lot of fun um, So I have some um, images to play with uh, Yeah, and I've been talking with Christopher a lot about everything and nothing and I don't know, we had a really good evening that way. Um, after I've been coloring for a while, the migraine struck pretty badly. Um, I think I kind of, if I tense up or something, uh, or if it's just that I'm, I'm thinking pretty hard on, on uh, which colors to use and stuff. Um, right now I'm in Christmas mode, so I've been doing uh coloring some christmas stamps i have some ideas and i wanted to color them up to try them out and then we'll see if i'm going to use those specific ones or if i'm going to color up some other ones at my camera in the future i don't know i don't know um also fun thing um i sat down and did some calculations um I wanted to I wanted to buy some more Christmas stamps. I, I want to have some more newer Christmas stamps so that I can have some uh, Christmas cards and Christmas card videos up later this year. Um, and so I sat down and I looked at 
how much everything would cost. Um, I need to pay for the shipping, I need to pay for a lot of things. Um, and then I remembered a Swedish company that I usually buy from, which I, or usually, which I bought from like a year or two ago. Um, and kind of, I can go there and I can buy, touch and feel and buy just directly from her. And I calculated some things and uh, it's actually cheaper for me, even though they have extra money on them, they are more expensive uh, in this in that store. Uh, if you calculate shipping, taxes and all of those things, it is cheaper to go there and buy. So I'm gonna go there and buy stuff. Uh, see, I'm hoping to go there tomorrow uh, if I have the energy. Otherwise, I have to do it somewhere next week because she's closed on Sundays. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of nice to discover. Um, I still have uh, other supplies that I want to buy from another place. Uh, but I want to have a, a, a little bit of a wider range of, of supplies and a little bit of a wider range of products. And, and kind of showcase some fun new stuff. So I'm going to go there and look at some stuff and then we'll see. Yeah. I'm slowly coming back to myself. A part of me feeling good is me feeling productive and feeling that I am doing something um, to progress something in my life. Uh, and right now I can't really do anything to progress the the developer in me because I can't really think and I can only do so short time in front of the computer so then I have to kind of develop another part of me which is the card maker but yeah I'm gonna head to bed we have given all the kitties their food and stuff so now we're gonna cuddle up and sleep because it's late and I'm tired but uh, good night sleep time don't let the bed bugs bite bye